Hey everyone, this is a 2012 Honda Civic. It's been parked here for a week or two, and I just came over to start it up and uh, go use it for the first time, and found out that the car was leaning to the passenger side. So as we walk to the front here, you can see that I got the car up on the jacks, the one in the one, one in the back, one in the front and this tire was completely flat as you can see it's off the ground it looks completely flat, flat. so i thought i would just uh, make a video and see if we can locate the leak i've already loosened off the nuts and we will uh, start taking the nuts off take the wheel off and go inside and try to find the leak You guys, you can see the tire is completely flat, so it must have uh, taken a week or two because the car has not moved. And as you saw before, I saw the screw right away. It could be something else, but there it is, right there. So you need anything, pliers, and then we just go at it. There it is. Okay, so you guys can buy these. I always keep these on hand. Uh, you can get it from Walmart in the automotive section. And this is just uh, a type of a plug. It's a piece of rubber, has glue on it. It also comes with this paste, it just has liquid on it. So you just put a bit of this on there. Make sure you cover it. It has two other tools. So, it has this tool here. You use this part. You can see this is brand new. I've never used it. Uh, you take this and you actually put it into this the hole that you took the screw out of, the bolt, whatever it might be in your case. And you just clean out the hole up and down and make sure it's nice and smooth and even and it will do that while it goes up and down and then this here you can see there's a slight space in between this is not actually 100 percent together so you're supposed to take the string feed it through one side and have even amount on both sides and it's flexible because a piece of rubber and then you're supposed to take that put it into the actual hole that you guys just cleaned out with the liquid and that should seal everything and uh, I'll show you how to do all of this so here's the hole if you guys can see right there that's the hole, so I'm just going to clean it out to the best uh, I can, and we'll go on to the next step. So you can see it's kind of hard actually to do this because the hole itself wasn't that deep and now I'm trying to put a bigger um, bigger thing right here and I'm trying to put it back in there. That's going to be hard so you're going to have to fight with it a little bit especially when there's no air in it so the tire is going in and out.
There we go. So now it's all the way in. I don't know if you can hear that. So you just go back and forth. As you can see, it's cleaning out the hole. And it's actually uh, bringing up rubber and making the hole slightly bigger to this size over here. So you can see the hole is much bigger now and whatever air was actually inside it's fully gone right there so this is very very sticky you guys have to be very careful it comes in two pieces of paper like this and because it's actually very cold outside this is going to be not as sticky which is a good thing and a bad thing but you do not want to get this on your hands or on your gloves uh, there you go. So here it is. Now the hard part is feeding this through that. So let's see how I can get this going. And I'm touching it. Oh, that's not bad. So make sure you have even amount on both sides, right here, and you can see the little slit inside right at the tip. That's when you push it in, not all the way till you can actually see the end still sticking out. And when you pull it back out, this will open up and leave that rubber in there and you'll just get the handle back out. So here's the liquid, I'm just going to put a bit on there. So this aids in sealing it up and making it easier for this to actually stay inside and slip out of this handle. Let's locate the hole right there. And this is going to take some effort, so I usually want to get a good stand, a good grip, and then you want to push this in, might have to rotate it. So you can see it's going in, but it's still kind of hard. So it'll take a bit to work it in but it should go in you still don't want to push too hard where it goes right through and you want to keep a good firm grip on it you can see the end that's sticking out it's getting less and less There you go. I think that's doing it. If not, we'll try it again. So now I'm going to try to pull it back out as quickly as I can. So 
So this here actually didn't go in how it should. It should go in a lot easier. So maybe I have to clean out the hole a bit more because I'm not really too happy with that one. Looks like it kind of all mushed out and it's just uh, on top. It didn't actually go right through. So you should just see the two ends, not this part here. So I'm sure partially it's in, but I'm not happy with that. I'm going to try to pull this out, see if it actually seals, and then we'll go do it again. Hmm. So that was actually in. I can technically try this again because this thing is uh, still usable. again so that's much better right there so you have this gummy part that's okay you can leave that in there now I'm just gonna yank this thing back out that's it This actually comes with this little piece of blade. Just be careful. Open it up. As you can see, stuff sticking to my gloves because the glue there. And we're just gonna cut off this little part that's sticking out. So now all we have to do is um, fill this up. So I have a air compressor that plugs into the cigarette lighter. So we'll take this outside, air it up, and then put some water on it. See if you can get, see any bubbles coming out. Meanings that means that there's a air leak, and we have to do the repair again and go look more into it. But I'm pretty sure this should be okay. So let's air it up and put it back on the car.
to start this bolt, cut, and then couple threads, and then use a gun. That saves you from a lot of heavy cast force. You want to push across this pattern? That's it guys, that's how you put on a tire. Now from here you just uh, keep an eye on it and just check the tire pressure for the next week or so and if it's good, you have successfully put on a, repaired your tire. Very handy to know if you're in, in trouble, which is normal if you're driving a car. Kit that I used to uh, repair the tire as you saw in the video and this is only five bucks or even less at Walmart. So you should keep a set of this in your car and you should have one at home as well. Just comes in handy and uh, saves you a lot of headache. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like and subscribe and uh, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Have a good day.